Hey guys, John Layton here, and I was reading in the Word this morning of Romans chapter 12, verse 21, and it says, Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. And I noticed that right there, two parts to that equation right there, you are either being overcome, or you are doing the overcoming. And as I look around at society and at culture, especially in our country today, I see a lot of Christians that are being overcome with evil. And here there's a command given that says, Be not overcome of evil. And so as we look at what seems to be a losing battle in society, we realize that that is on us, that that's a sin on our part because the instruction is to not be overcome, but to overcome evil with good. So how do I do that? Whenever I have somebody that is evil or a situation that is evil or I live in a society that is evil, that is oppressing me and coming against me constantly, well, the instruction is given just in the verses that precede it. It says, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, not my wrath, but the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, I will repay. And there in verse 20 it says, Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. I don't know about you, but the other day I was having an argument, a dispute with a, a close friend, and I began to get upset about, This was your fault, and you did this, and you're responsible. And I just remember she looked at me and said, Okay, I'm sorry, you're right. And would you please forgive me? And, and as she began to, to do that, it, it made me a little bit more angry because I'm like, just fight back, just do something, just come at me, just be mean so that I have, so that I'm justified in my anger. But I couldn't because she was doing what this verse says. She was giving me drink. She was giving me meat. She was heaping coals of fire on my head. So friend, if you've got somebody in your life or a situation in your life that is controlling you, that is ruling over you in evil tyranny, it's time that you remove them from the throne and you fire them. And the best way to fire them with those coals of fire is to overcome evil with good. So friend, in the society that we live in, in the day and age that we're in today, it's time that we as Christians step out and destroy and eliminate the enemy to fire him with the power of the gospel. Because it's the most extravagant uh, way that we can show love. It's the most extraordinary power and it is the only way that we'll stop seeing the church overcome is if we step out and proactively overcome evil with good. We fight fire of hell with the fire of the gospel and I cannot wait to see revival fire break out in our country.